a fine woman. If you're a fine woman, just because you're even a beautiful woman, a man can just even give you money or give you favors or give you opportunities just because there's something called pretty privilege. And make sure you use advantage of that because leave your house in 2024. Like even a really rich guy will walk up to you and be like okay yeah this kind of girl i can afford her i can take care of her i can provide for her it's not going to be an issue and she's asking me for like five million dollars to invest in her business it's not going to be an issue golden standard kind of men in this world house monday to friday you're going to work saturday sunday you enter your house you need to go out and most especially you need to frequent where high value men will be stop sitting your ass down you're saying you're single you're single but you'll still be in your house tiny rapper and watching instagram meme eh go outside meet you feel like rain in the morning Giving me mixed emotions Hi my darlings, welcome back to the channel If you see this beautiful face for the very first time My name is Wei Me, also known as House of Wei on Instagram So if you're not following me on Instagram Please go follow me and let's be friends My returning subscribers, hey girl, come in, grab AC Thank you so much for always coming back And thank you for always showing me love and support So yeah, from the title you already know this video is going to be like a juicy one So before I get into the video just grab yourself like a drink or some snacks or some water or wine or just relax because we're going about to chat and it's going to be very very juicy and very very like insightful so before we get into the video another thing i want to put out there a disclaimer is that this video is for heterosexual women this video is for women who date men this video is for women who want to date men who are looking for men when i mean looking for men i mean everybody's looking for a partner right but I'm not like it's not like in the desperate like aspects where you're looking to like date a man and you want like a good man, you want to settle in 2024, you want to have your own man. I mean this 2024, since the beginning of this year, they've been oppressing single people. So if this if that's what you're looking for, you're looking to settle, you're looking to find your own man, you're looking to and I mean when you find your own man, a man who is gonna provide for you, who's gonna support you, who's gonna protect you, that kind of man, not any yama yama deadbeat kind of guy. If that's what you're looking for, then this video is for you. So if that's something you're interested in, because this video is not for feminists or the women who say men are scum, because me, I don't like, it's not for the women who say men are scum, because if you say men are scum, I mean, you're going to attract scum. So whatever you say, that's what you're going to attract. So we're attracting high value men in 2024. So I'm going to give you tips on how to attract high value men, okay? So without talking too much, let's just get right into the video. video. You know guys, when I do videos like this, I like to write down my points so I do not forget. And I give it to you guys like straight up. And hope you've grabbed something, hope you have a drink, hope you have a snack. Because this is going to be very, very funny, informative and not funny. <laughs> what did I say funny? It's going to be very informative and enlightening and you know, in this 2024 we're getting our high value men okay okay so anyways google defines a high value man as a man um a respectful successful likable confident and attractive man okay as a high value man a high value man is someone who i know most times we don't have our shit someone who's trying to get his shit together forgive me for using that word trying to like put your act together you're trying to like better yourself you're trying to like grow you're trying to take care of yourself your physical appearance you look good you smell nice you don't have bad breath that's a high value man right a man does and that's the kind of man like every woman wants but when you want that kind of man who is very successful or trying to be successful he has like potentials he has like ambitions he's very kind he's generous he's very, responsible he's 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 everything every woman wants so how do you make yourself that kind of woman you know how you know that like, they say like are you your specs spec do you understand so you're trying to be like that kind of woman that when that particular when you find that man you are like you've positioned yourself in a way that he's gonna see you and he's gonna want you he's not gonna see you and be like nah this is not the kind of person i want to settle down this is not the person i want to be with you've put yourself in a position where when he sees you you're going to be that person that he wants and sometimes like we don't know these things but i'm just trying to like enlighten you guys and tell you guys like how you can be that woman that when that high value man comes he's gonna want you he's gonna see you and be like you know what this is the lady i want in my life i can't let you go like he's gonna be running up and down like following you up and down and he's not gonna rest until he gets you okay and put a ring on that finger so yeah I'll be giving you tips on how to attract your high value man in 2024. But the first thing on how to attract your high value man in 2024 is becoming a high value woman yourself. Yeah, that's the number one thing, like putting value on yourself. In 2024, when they ask you what do you bring to the table, do not be offended and do not say you bring your female genitalia. I mean, everybody has female genitalia. 
every woman has and if you know if you check statistics there are more women than men on this earth i mean so you saying that's what you bring to the table i mean nobody should be saying that anymore that's just very outdated because the female genitalia is everywhere and as a matter of fact it's very cheap everybody has it and these days the value of the female genitalia is even reduced so i'm not going to go into that conversation right now but what i'm just trying to tell you is how to you have to be like a high value woman yourself you have to make yourself valuable like when you ask what you bring to the table you have things you're bringing to the table you have to like invest in yourself you have to like you know um, what do you call it if it's business you're doing if you're going to work if you're um, doing like um, what they call it like maybe like a hand walk maybe you're doing hair you're doing makeup you're doing something like you're just very valuable like financially you are securing the bag 247 because let me let me let me tell you see even though in as much as every woman says like and every man that's their job to provide they still don't want a liability they don't want like okay every single thing down to your underwear or your sanitary towels for the month you still have to collect money from them so you have to be in your bag my sister like you have to have your own money it might not be up to your high value man's money but you have your own money you're securing your bag you're going about your business you have something you're doing you're not idle like it's 2024 why right? like you're not supposed to be idle you're supposed to be doing something for yourself generating money generating income for yourself i mean so you have to make yourself a high value woman you have to do something for yourself generate money for yourself and when they actually what you bring to the table you have to bring something valuable to the table it can be financial most like it can be financial that's not a bad thing to bring so i'm not saying like let the light guy like leech on you you know your man has money right you too you have your own money so you guys are matching energies and build, building like your empire it can be emotional you have to like be emotional intelligent so be high value like Put yourself become a high value woman when you become a high value woman your chances of securing a high value man is very high and it's not going to be hard so when that high value man comes to you and sees you he's going to want you and he's going to like see your value and he will respect that okay um there's this um, agenda people are trying to push like looks are not everything looks are not everything my sister looks at like 60% 50% because before a guy is trying to talk to you, before he's trying to move to you, he's looking at you, he's looking at how you look like, he's looking like, oh, this kind of girl now. Fuck, because some guys see some kind of girls that they look too expensive for them or too big for them. They move away because you know they cannot afford this kind of girl. So you have to look expensive, you have to work on your appearance like actively. Let your hair look nice, let your nails look nice. Even these days, there are ways that you can look so good without having to break the bank. We look very neat, wash your clothes, spray perfume, look nice, like look very presentable. Fix your nails. I mean, you don't have to fix your nails if you don't want to fix your nails. Me, I'm not fixing nails right now. But like, let your nails look nice, let them look like really put together. Like, we really look together look expensive and like things are like there's so many things that you can actually buy it can look so good with, like on a budget i'm saying get into your bag first so when you get into your bag you can afford this thing let's not be like a luxury to buy body wash or to buy like moisturizer or to buy like skincare i mean then that's not be luxury that's something get into your bag first then look like look really expensive also incorporate a workout like this 2024 everybody's hitting the gym so it's not even about okay you can look good you can look nice but still incorporate that with your health so that like when you start working out like you look really good it brings out like your features and it makes you like just look way nicer so you have to like work actively on your appearance i mean you see those girls actually like date all these rich men all these like really rich men do you see how they look like do you see how they put so much time and money into their parents they do that because you know they know men are moved by what they see men like to see fine women if you're a fine woman just because you're even a beautiful woman a man can just even give you money or give you favors or give you opportunities just because there's something called pretty privilege and make sure you use advantage of that because fresh out younger girls are coming up for those ones reach where we are now let us use the advantage okay i'm not saying use just your face or your beauty like to like get stuff but i mean to attract your perfect man you need to look good i'm not saying you have to do makeup but look good look good together look very neat i think neat is like the baseline look very neat look good together do your hair do your nails and again it's the way you package yourself that's the kind of man you attract because you see how some guys now that don't have so much you'll see a particular girl they will not even talk to her in their mind this one is out of my league i cannot even afford this kind of girl and some guys that know that they can afford you that's when so see that's what they say packaging 
Packaging is very very important because even though maybe you might not be there yet or nobody needs to know that but you've packaged yourself in a way that even a really rich guy will walk up to you and be like okay yeah this kind of girl I can afford her I can take care of her I can provide for her it's not going to be an issue and she's asking me for like five million dollars to invest in her business it's not going to be an issue because you're already in your bag you know you're already somewhere so like those upcoming guys I'm not trying to like shame anybody but like upcoming guys like so you see what I'm just trying to hope you get what I'm trying to say it's how you put yourself it's how you position yourself that's what you're going to attract so you see anyways let's just move on to the next point hope you guys get the bottom line is work on your parents okay yeah that thing is uh, my sisters this is 2024 you can't be in your house 247 and be expecting to attract a good high value man you can't be sitting in your house Monday to Friday you're going to work Saturday Sunday you enter your house you need to go out and most especially you need to frequent where high value men would be you can't be in your house and be expecting these men to come and meet you if you have to like put in effort if they're not coming to approach you or they're not coming to meet you you have to put in effort and carry yourself outside and go and meet them now go to places like high, like high value men frequent they go to like you can even go to like hotel lobbies that's why you know that those men that have their things to get see be careful shall don't go and meet somebody that's come and <laughs> like I, I hope you know what i mean but like all these kind of high value men they're mostly like in hotel lobbies in organizations at the gym in fancy restaurants maybe going for a business meeting go out leave your house in 2024 stop sitting your ass down you're saying you're single you're single but you still be in your house tying rapper and watching instagram meme eh Go outside, meet some people, socialize, even if it doesn't even end up in a relationship. Which, anyways, that's the point of this my video, Sha. Will you meet people? Go outside. If nobody's approaching you, they can't approach you inside your house now. Will they come and break down the door and come and drag yourself out, out, out of your house? You need to go outside, okay? So go out. Frequent where high value men frequent. You can do your research wherever you are. Okay, fine. These are where like the ballers are. These are where like the high value men are. These are where the responsible men are. Is it the gym? Is it this restaurant? Is it this place? Do your research according to where you're staying or you're living and frequent that place, okay? You're gonna meet your high value man. 2024, I guarantee you follow the steps. Another thing is be confident. I will not overemphasize this. I know you guys, most of us are shy. I'm even a shy person. I don't know if people find it hard to be, but I'm actually shy. I'm actually a very shy person, but I've tried to like work on it and not let my shyness like prevent me from doing what I want to do, okay? So be very confident. Like, as a woman, you're supposed to be confident. Confidence is very sexy very attractive and men can notice when a woman is confident in her own body in herself in her skin and in whatever like she's tried to like she's trying to do so when you as a woman you're supposed to be very confident even if you're not confident now work on your confidence level like walk into the room like you own the damn place even if you are shy carry your head high don't be doing like walking and doing a as you're scared of somebody who's going to beat you you're a grown ass woman nobody's gonna be you so walk into the place and just with your head high, your 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 shoulders, like your back straight, everything okay. That's part of comportment, okay? How to work on your confidence level, you have to like be confident and people can tell, a man can tell when you're not confident. So even if you're not confident now, this is something you have to work on to get out your high value man in 2024. Okay? As a woman in 2024, if you're trying to secure a high value man, be very selective with the kind of guys that you're rolling with or the kind of guys that you're talking to be very selective you're not for everybody nobody it's not everybody who deserves your time and your attention it's not every man in your dm you would reply it's not everybody that moves to you that you will talk to i'm not saying be rude or be proud it's not being proud it's just what you want okay so if you see a guy he's trying to talk to you everybody i'll check like okay this person for me can i be with this person can i roll with this person this person like if it's not, if you're saying like, okay, there are some traits this person is already portraying already, maybe he's too loud or he's too lousy, like, just excuse yourself. Don't say, okay, let me try or let me see if he would change. No, when you see people who they are, take it and move on. Take your L and move. You don't have to like stay there and start saying, oh, let me try and change. Please, it's 2024. We're not trying to change anybody's son. You're not his mother. If he's moving anyhow, be selective. It's not everybody you see that you have to, have to get your time. And your attention be very selective so that when you get that you're high value man you've preserved yourself so it's not like you're everywhere like everybody knows you you have to, like that's one thing me I, I take very seriously like a lot of people don't have access to me you might know me but you don't have access to me and then that's something that I in 2024 I'm standing on business with that whole motto with that whole mantra the fact you know me doesn't mean you have access to me doesn't mean you can call me doesn't mean you can see me I mean be selective with who you give your time 
and your attention because time loss can never be gotten but so don't be wasting it on all these refrains okay keep it for your high value man okay so you spend shower him with time and affection and attention save it save your energy that thing is comportment and composure as a woman you're supposed to know how to comport yourself and compose yourself in public in private eh, maybe if you're in your house and you live alone you can do anything you want to do but in public you have to comport yourself you have to like ah, there are ways that you're supposed to like bask in your feminine energy like it's not you don't have to be too loud you don't have to chew gum too loudly you don't have to like laugh at everybody's jokes you don't have to be like you just comport yourself compose yourself you're sitting in a public place you're sitting down you're minding your business you're looking cute looking fly you're not just talking, ta -ta -ta -ta. nah you're talking like very soft spoken you're not just shouting even though it's offending you you just try and just like okay kind of like what not watery down but just kind of like you know you don't want to shout you don't embarrass yourself you don't want to shout on the streets compose yourself and comport yourself i mean that's very important and when you do that that even if you know you might even be in a public setting now and this high value man is checking you out and maybe something happens and you're very composed you're very comported oh my god that will even make him to walk up to you and be like hey hey girl like can i get your number because i mean he's still like oh this girl can handle her own she can hold her own side she's not shouting and behaving anyhow <laughs> or behaving very rash so that's something that you should do in 2024 if you don't know how to compose yourself comport yourself learn it go read books go check the internet the internet is there for free every information you need is on the internet so that's something you're supposed to like know how to do composure and comportment so okay that's what i'm going to say now i know maybe some people will drag me shower but um this this topic is very very controversial but this is my own take on it stop dressing like a prostitute stop dressing cheap and tacky i mean there are things that you wear like a high value man, let me just be very honest, let me just put it out there. A high value man would not want a woman who is half naked. No man wants his wife. Yeah, don't get me wrong, though. There are some men that want that, they want their wife to like show all her body outside. They don't mind it. But how many men want that? And we're looking at the major, if you're taking statistics, we're looking at like the majority of the men in the world. 95%, let me even say 98% of men don't want their wives or their girlfriends or their wives to be. For them to be naked so stop dressing tacky and cheap stop being naked stop dressing like a prostitute it doesn't even help you in any way you're going to attract people that just want to use you and dump you so if you're looking for a high value man who's going to be taking you very seriously stop dressing like a prostitute it's 2024 stop that tacky tacky behavior it's very cheap like it makes you look very cheap because you cannot be telling me like oh you're dressing in a certain way and your whole breasts out even if you want to be sexy there are ways you can be sexy there's a rule for being sexy if you're showing your cleavage you're not showing your thighs and your stomach if you're showing your thighs and your stomach you're not showing your cleavage if you're showing your stomach there are rules for all these things so you don't look tacky and cheap and very distinct because even if a man sees you he won't take you seriously so if you're dressing like a prostitute why would he take you seriously it's just more or less like you might not be a prostitute but like they say dress how you want to be addressed it might not be who you are you might be a very decent girl you might be a very like well brought up person but because of how you're dressing you're attracting the wrong kind of men so dress how dress according to how the type of men you want to attract a high value man will see a girl well covered well dressed and that's the kind of girl he'll go for he wants to see somebody who's wearing like skimpy skimpy breast out cleavage out stomach out legs out and go with that kind of person hell no hell no so dress how you want to be addressed i'm so dressing like a person to my sisters it's 2020 sorry for using that word <laughs> i don't know if i'm so I'm sorry for using that word but dress decently okay even if you want to dress sexy there are ways to do it learn it and dress decently the most important point i have is to be intentional about the kind of man you are looking for do not be confused about it be very intentional like this is the kind of man if possible write a list okay i want him like this i want him like that i want him like this. be very intentional about the kind of man you want so when you see the kind of man you want you know to go for it okay be very intentional and again like from your lips to God's ears, right? Stop saying men are scum. Because if you say men are scum, you attract scum. They are very, very, even though maybe you've been with scums in the past, or men have done you dirty in the past, but they are very, very good men. Very good men. Like men, like golden standard kind of men in this world. That when you even meet them, when you encounter them, like your life will change forever. They will support you financially emotionally spiritually they will lead you they will guide you because that's where a man is supposed to be You're supposed to be like under your man and he's going to do all that for you and just cover you like an umbrella do you understand because after god is your man after your man your husband then it's you he's going to cover you under his umbrella you're going to be under his 
with God being like the head, be very intentional. Stop saying men are scum. It doesn't help. When you say men are scum, men are scum, men are scum, you attract scum. Scum of the earth. Those ones that even like written off kind of human beings. <laughs> Those are what you attract. So stop saying men are scum. Be very intentional about, about the man you want, the kind of man you want in your life. What are those qualities you're looking for? What are those things you need in a man? What are those things you want your man to do for you when he comes into your life? Be intentional about it and stop saying men are scum. Because from your lips, what you believe is what you attract. Be saying, every day you wake up in the morning, say, God, I want a good man. A man from you. A morally upright man. A God-fearing man. A man who loves God, who loves Jesus. Be saying that, stop saying men are scum, okay? And when you say those things, like it will manifest in your life, it will manifest in the kind of men that are even moving to you. Even though maybe some might move to you, maybe it's not your it's just not your type, it might not work out, but they are high value men. They can even still help you, even without having even without even dating you or being in a relationship with you. But they will add value to you at the same time, okay? With no strings attached. I mean, of course, yeah, that's what I mean. So not like okay, you're having multiple men. That's not what I mean. So, anyways, mm, that brings us to the end of this video. Tell me which one is like your most important point or which one like you see like okay really really makes sense to you. Anyways, all my points make sense because I'm giving you guys like see like I'm that big sister on the internet who's like telling you guys what to do on how to secure your high value man in 2024. Anyways, let's talk in the comment section. You guys leave me a comment. You guys are not leaving me comments anymore. You guys want me to cry? Leave me a comment and let's talk like what um, point resonated with you the most? What will you be incorporating newly as you're moving forward to secure your high value man if you do not have him yet? And let's just talk in the comment section. Let's keep in the bad news we are. I love you guys long time and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!